Around the UP, we have been seeing just a couple of isolated showers, mainly through Marquette and Barraga County, off in Wisconsin. That is the beginning of some more significant widespread rainfall that's going to be spreading over almost all of the UP later on tonight. Temperatures right now are mostly in the upper 30s and lower 40s. It's 39 degrees in Marquette. We even have wind chills around the lower 30s with a breeze at 9 miles per hour. 40 degrees in Houghton, also seeing a wind chill value in the lower 30s. And 41 degrees in Iron Mountain with wind chills in the mid 30s. So it is a bit of a dreary and raw day and we're going to see that tomorrow. Even wetter for tomorrow with some significant rainfall on the way. Winds right now are out of the northeast 9 miles per hour in Marquette out of the east in Escanaba at 12 miles per hour and 14 miles per hour in Houghton. Currently in Marquette, we are seeing some drizzle with 39 degrees, wind chill of 33, light winds out of the northeast and relative humidity at 86%. Going into the next couple of days, it's going to be a rainy morning tomorrow. We're going to see a soaking rain almost all across the UP and also some cool temperatures throughout the day. On Thursday, still a few showers will be possible. That's mostly going to be for the midday and afternoon hours. Later showers on Thursday. Finally, by Friday, some sunshine and our temperatures will begin to warm up a little bit toward the end of the week. So the next storm system is still gathering and getting organized across parts of the southern plains and it's going to be moving in toward the Great Lakes. It's spreading areas of rain well ahead of the center of the storm system itself and we're going to see some steady rain here moving in as we go through the nighttime hours. So for tonight, not a whole lot of rain right now, but later on tonight, especially after midnight, rain moves in, possibly mixing with snow, especially across the higher terrain, just in the middle of the night while the temperatures are cold enough. But this is mostly going to be a rain event, soaking rain tomorrow morning, still a chance of showers as we go into the afternoon. But we'll see the showers beginning to let up late in the day and into the evening. For Thursday, likely starting off with some dry weather in the morning, and then Thursday, midday and afternoon, we'll have a chance for a couple of spotty showers around our area. So for tonight and going into the day on Wednesday, here's how much rain I am anticipating for these areas in green. So northwestern sections of the UP, including the Keweenaw Peninsula, Houghton County, Berga County, a quarter of an inch to half an inch of rain. As you go south and east of Marquette, that's where we could be seeing some higher rainfall amounts. So that will include most of the Lake Michigan shoreline as well as Alger County and Luce County for these areas in yellow, half an inch to an inch of rain in the forecast for tonight. Low temperatures about 34 degrees in Marquette, 36 in Escanaba, 33 degrees in Houghton rain and at times mixing with snow moving in for tonight for tomorrow. Widespread soaking. I know the computer here is showing a lot of blue. I'm anticipating this to be mostly rain with temperatures for afternoon highs only getting to 38 degrees in Marquette, 40 degrees in Escanaba and Iron River as well. So for tomorrow, it starts out very soggy in the morning, soaking rain widespread across the UP with temperatures in the mid 30s. The chance of rain will gradually ease through the day. A high of only 38 degrees with winds out of the east at 15 miles per hour and then in the evening mid 30s with a few scattered showers still possible. Possible. On Thursday, the highest chance for any showers throughout the day will be midday and afternoon. Temperatures climbing into the mid 40s. Finally, by Friday, high temperatures about 50 degrees with partly cloudy skies. On Saturday, we have a chance of a few scattered showers early on, drier to end the day. And finally, some warmer temperatures moving in with a light breeze out of the south near 60 degrees for Saturday afternoon. On Sunday, lower 50s with a possibility for a few showers. And then on Monday, partly cloudy highs about 50 degrees near 50 on Tuesday with mostly cloudy skies.